after the hour, Gary has the D and the clue of the day. Gary, Gary, quite contrary, trim your chest hair. It's so damn hairy. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Tuesday, a beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in Celebrity News, y'all. Nia Guzman, y'all, the beautiful mother of Chris Brown's beautiful daughter, Little Royalty, y'all, is saying, y'all, that baby royalty is obsessed with her dad. Now, she recently did an interview with Latina Magazine, and she said, y'all, quote, that little Nia, she adores him, especially when he's on the road. She always wants to call him. She's pretty attached to him. She said, I don't think it's a very intimate and um, beautiful relationship that they have. She said, I'm doing all I can to co-parent and make sure Royalty will never, ever see any negativity with me and him. Isn't that great? Oh. Little Roger would never see her mom and daddy fussing or arguing or whatever because she loves her dad and he's on the road and he's making money for them so she could buy all kind of new little baby Barbie dolls and how all old, that. How stuff. old is the baby now? Raw, I think she's probably about what three or four now, something like oh, that. Oh, really? Uh huh. That's the yeah. age where they be in love with you, boy. Yes, yeah, Lord. When they yes. hug, when they uh, hug your neck with them little strong arms, man, it is everything. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so congratulations, y'all, to baby royalty and her dad. All right, moving on. Another celebrity news, baby. They say it's a fight, honey, or oh, somebody's very angry on the set, y'all. A Fast and Furious Eight. Now we all know that that uh, movie is coming to a wind up, y'all. But honey, The Rock is speaking out. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. The Rock has something to say. And I went to a um, question, a Q&A the other night, and um, 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 Ludacris was there. And um, one of the ladies from the um, movie was there doing the Q&A. But now, The Rock is saying some things, y'all. A lot of people saying, mm. Now, he said, you know, on his Instagram, he said, quote, y'all, this is my final week of shooting, Fast and Furious. And he said, there's no other franchise that gets my blood balling more than this one. He said, it's an incredible, hardworking crew. He said, Universal has been good. He said, he's um, great partners. He said, his female co-workers, are always amazing, and he loved them. He said, my male co-stars, um, however, are a different story. He said, some conduct themselves as stand-up men and true professionals, while others don't. He said, the ones that don't are too chicken caca to do anything about it anyway. He said, candy asses. He said, when you catch this movie next April and it seems like I'm not acting in some of the scenes, he said, and my blood is legit balling, he said, you're right. Bottom line is, I'll play great. For the movie and fits this Hobbs character that's embedded in my DNA extremely well. He said the producer in me is happy about this part. Final week is on Fast and Furious. He said I'm strong. He said hashtag Iceman Cometh. Hashtag F80 tolerance for candy asses. <laughs> oh wow. So people wonder who is he talking about? Who you think? Oh, oh I ain't saying honey, but mm. <laughs> say it, say it. It's about saying honey. Uh, but I feel so bad. I never thought the Rock would say it, but you know they saying honey. These people. These guys, Ricky, are candy asses. Oh, this is okay. what the rock is saying. <laughs> like taffy apples? Yes, Lord, honey. Right. You know, wherever there's a little smoke, there's some fire. Mm. So who y'all think? Hmm. Um, I don't know. Just thinking. Yeah, you gonna ask us one? What you think? It seemed uh-huh. like Vin Diesel be about that business. What about um all the other ones? Like um Little Chris kinda gets to it. Mm-hmm. I wonder uh-huh. if he's talking about Tyrese. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. But Tyrese gets to the business too. I don't know. Well, we gonna see, honey. We're talking the- about with somebody behind the camera. No, he didn't talk about behind the camera. He talking about his co-hosts, his co-stars, the guys. He said the guys are acting up. But anyway, we're going to find out soon. But then my final story, y'all, this is a very sad and touching story, and we all need to touch the radio. We all know, honey, y'all, that Nate Parker, honey, he's playing um, in the biopic, y'all, Birth of a Nation. Nate Parker's a star. He was in so many movies in Red Tail, Beyond the Lights, honey, the great debaters and what have you. Well, nevertheless, um, Nate Parker and his wife decided to let the world know, y'all, that they have welcomed a new bouncing baby their fourth child. Well, black Twitter went up mm. because when they decided to let the world know about their fourth child, they said, oh, Nate, you didn't tell us your wife was white. Baby mm. black Twitter went up, y'all. They're saying, y'all, that Nate and his beautiful wife, Miss Sarah DeSanto, honey, who have been together since college, have four children together. They're saying, y'all, that they managed to stay under the radar for years, but somehow Twitter just got wind of the union and decided to go in. They're saying it's not clear why this interracial relationship suddenly became an issue, but it could have something to do with the fact that Parker and, you know, his wife, DeSanto, just shared the news that they have welcomed their fourth child, another baby girl, into the world, honey. And they're saying people didn't know that. They said perhaps the couple um, 
that accompany the coverage of their happy announcement should uh, set some people off and let people know this. But so they're not going to see his Nat Turner movie now. They're not seeing Nat Turner. They say people may not be going to see Nat Turner because they say it's not seeming real because, like, um, somebody said Nate Parker's wife is eggshell colored. That's stupid. What? That yeah. is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Yeah, well, people are very hurt and upset about it because, you know, you, you know how it is in black Hollywood and how black Twitter is. People want to feel that they could have a chance with these actors and actresses. Yeah, but that's not always the reality. That's not always Just the reality. Like my baby daddy from Power. He got a wife. Uh, yeah. And but, she white. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but that still don't mean you can't call me though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, but they said people are very angry about it, honey. But then, you know, because people say he should have told them or maybe they should have just stayed under the radar. Cause, and I guess, he, too, he's playing such a hard movie. You know, um, Birth of a Nation with Nat um, 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 Turner. Nat Turner, Nat, people Nat need Turner. to wrap their brain around the fact that nine times out of ten, you're not going to have sex with these people, and it's about the art. People yeah. shouldn't get judged about what they right. do off the grid. Yes. How that album sound? How yeah. was the performance? None of the mm-hmm. other stuff matters. They can put on blindfolds and headphones and run full speed into a wood chipper. For all I care. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, we just gonna pray. Hopefully, honey, that that movie come out. And he just tell me that it was a lie. It should come out. Hopefully, it's a great movie because it's important to our history that people know about Nat Turner. But they, but yeah, but they say the person that playing they didn't know he had a wife of non color. Whatever. So I'm we sure just gonna don't. pray, y'all. Let's say it. All right. The color today, y'all, is one of my favorite colors. My color today is zigzag. On the high end, you say zigzag, and on the low end, you say beautiful gray. On the low end, you say rolling papers. Is that what that is? <laughs> <laughs> The Ricky Smiley Morning Show.